Hey folks, uh, this video provides a quick overview of Nirmata EKS Manager. In this video, we'll look at how you can manage your clusters using Nirmata EKS Manager. You can also deploy and manage your work Kiverno policies. And then finally, you can manage your applications using Nirmata. To deploy your clusters, you first need to set up your cloud credentials and you can set up your AWS credentials by uh, following the instructions on this, on this wizard. Once you have the credentials set up, you can create a cluster type. A cluster type is essentially a template for your cluster where it, uh, where it contains all your cluster configuration. So things like your, your Kubernetes version, regions, VPC, networks, and so on. It also contains your node configuration. Now, once the cluster type is set up, it's pretty straightforward to create new clusters. So you can click on the add cluster button here and then uh, click on EKS and start creating your cluster. So here, I'm just gonna enter the name, uh, select the cluster type, which I created previously, select the node pool and specify the node count. And that's it. Now your cluster is being created. It could take a few minutes for your clusters to, cluster to be created. And uh, in, in addition to creating the cluster, we will also uh, deploy uh, add-ons like logging, monitoring, security, including the Kiverno policy engine, so that when the cluster is available, it's completely secure and ready for use. Next, you can manage your policies from Nirmata. So Kiverno is a policy engine that's default deployed with Nirmata, and you can manage your policies as, uh, as policy groups. So you can set up policy groups where your policies can be stored in Git, and these policies can be deployed to one or more clusters. And once these policies are deployed, Nirmata actually collects all the policy violations and provides you with information of where these violations occur. Finally, for your applications, you can start uh, by using the catalog. A catalog is where your applications are stored. You can add new applications. These could be either just YAML files or they could be YAML files stored in Git or Helm charts. So Nirmata supports all those capabilities. And once you create your application, uh, you can actually deploy the, this application to any cluster by clicking on this run application command. When you run your application, you can actually then manage the lifecycle of that application from Nirmata as well. So for example, here I have an application called Guestbook Deploy, and that application has three deployments and I can manage, uh, manage them from here. I can see that these deployments have, uh, have fewer pods than actually configured, and that's why the, the state of these deployments shows as degraded. But you can manage, uh, manage the entire application from here. You can actually look at the application topology, as well as uh, all of the resource, uh, as resources in that application, and also the service view for that application. So this was a quick overview of Nirmata EKS Manager. Uh, you can sign up for Nirmata EKS Manager from the AWS Marketplace. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at customersuccess at nirmata.com. Thank you.